everyone. This information applies mostly to elementary teachers. Let's talk a little bit about how you want to arrange your course, organize your folders within your Schoology page here. Um, when you log on to Schoology, you're going to see several different classes that you already have students listed in. You'll see an attendance class and you'll see whatever you have available in Teams. So if you teach math, you'll see a math class. If you teach science, social studies, language arts, you'll see all of those classes already populated for you with students in them within, um, within Schoology. I recommend if you are a self-contained elementary teacher that you populate all of your content in that course that's called attendance. It will be easier for your students only to have to go look in one of those classes within Schoology and we'll talk about that in a minute. If you are a teacher who is departmentalized or who is a, has a partner teacher, like a dual language partner teacher, you'll need to touch base with those partner teachers of yours and decide where you will both populate your content. So for instance, if I am a Spanish um, dual language teacher and I have an English uh, partner teacher, we might decide that I put all of my content within um, the math uh, math. Uh, course and she puts all of her content within the language arts course and our students need to know that ahead of time so that they know which course to go looking for our content in. But take a look at how my self-contained course here is organized. This is from my fourth grade self-contained um, class from a few years ago. I put all of my folders within that class and it was easy for my students to go and click right where they needed to go. And you can see that then they clicked in that class and all they had to look for was exactly what they needed. So my math folder is in there, my science folder is there, um, and I had some other things that they would go looking for. Um, these were my, uh, my grammar, my language arts, writing, that type of thing. So for instance, if I go ahead and click on my math folder, I had it divided up by what unit we were looking at in um, math um, for them. Um, my students didn't necessarily know that we were in unit one, two, and three. They knew that we were looking at decimals or multiplication or division. Um, so it was easy for them to find things and color coding is also helpful for them. So I'm gonna go back here and let's go ahead and see how we add a folder. Um, so in order to add a folder, I'm gonna come up here to where it says add materials. And the very first thing you see is add folder. And I'm going to title this folder um, just practice folder for a minute here. And you can choose whatever color you want it to be. Maybe I'll make this one black for now. And I can call it, um, I can give it a description also. So I am learning to use Schoology right now. I can give it specific dates if I want to. Um, I can make it published or unpublished if I don't want my students to see it quite yet. Um, I typically leave all of my materials published so that if my students want to look back on things or look ahead on things, they can. And I can go ahead and create that folder. And it dropped it at the very bottom for me. Now, if I want to drag things out of order and put them somewhere else, I can drag it all the way up to the top here if I want to. I can put it right there. Um, and it will, it will move around. It didn't want to right then. Should move around for me. Uh, this is an archived class, so it might not let me um, edit and revise things right now. But um, that's what you're going to do in order to, to change your folders around. Now, I know some teachers like to, for instance, if I go back into my science um, content here, uh, I know, or I'm going to go back to my math so you can see what that looked like. I know that some teachers like to, for instance, um, leave all of their folders blue and only color code the folder that they're on right now, the content that they're on right now. That is one other way of of using your folders. So folders are a really important way for you to divide up your, your content so that your students know where they're going to find the materials that they need.